Hi, welcome to Average Linkage Based Agglomerative Hierarchical Clustering. Here, the distance between each pair of data points is added up and then divided by the total number of data points in the both clusters to find the average distance between two clusters R and S or C1 and C2. Here the data set is given with four data points. Uh, initially all the data points are considered as a single tone clusters. That means each cluster is having only single data point. Then we will apply the Euclidean metric to calculate the distance matrix. Here 1 comma 2, the, uh, the distance between 1 comma 2 is 1 and uh, earlier to that the distance to the data point itself here 0, 2 comma 2 is 0, 3 comma 3 is 0, 4 comma 4 is 0. Then now the we are going to uh, calculate the uh, uh, distance matrix 1 comma 3 so 1 comma 3 is here 2 like that 3 comma 1 is also 2 here uh, this is also 1 because 1 comma 2 then 1 comma 4 is 6 so 1 comma 4 is 6 and 4 comma 1 is also 6 and 2 comma 3 is 2.23 so 2 comma 3 is this one 2.23 and uh, the 3 comma 2 is also 2.23 3. So now uh, 2 comma 4, 2 comma 4 is 5, like that 4 comma 2 is also 5. Then uh, here uh, 3 comma 3 is 0, 3 comma 4 and 4 comma 3. So 4 comma 3 is 6.32 and 3 comma 2 is also 6.32. So here the same values are reflected again in the upper portion of the distance matrix so we can take either upper portion or lower portion of the tri triangle i mean distance matrix so we will uh, omit that upper portion we will consider only the uh, lower portion so from this we have to select the minimum value in the distance matrix the minimum value is one so now the closest pair of data points are 2 and 1. So now we have to combine that 1 and 2. So now we are going to combine that 1 and 2. So after combining the 1 and 2, we have to update the distance matrix where the data was combined, that clusters were combined. So now P1 and P2 are combined as a single cluster. Still P3, P4 are uh, two different clusters. Now we will update the distance between the 1 comma 2 and 3 uh, and also 1 comma 2 to 4. So now 1 comma 2 to 3 we are going to identify by uh, calculating the average distance between uh, d1 comma d3 and d2 comma d3. So d1 comma d3 is here. So d1 and comma d3. So value is 2 that is written here and d2 comma d3. So d2 comma d3 is 2.23. So that is written here. We are going to calculate the average 2.15. Then update the distance matrix between uh, this cell 1 comma 2 comma 4. So one data points 1 comma 2 to data point 4. So now we will calculate the distance between d2 to d4 and d1 to d4 so d1 to d4 is here 6 so d1 to d4 is here the 6 and d2 to d4 is here 5 so 5 is written here then average of these two data points are 5.5 so 5.5 is written d2 comma d4 and here 2.15 is the value of d1 to comma 3 and the distance between these two data points i mean same data point is zero same cluster so now again we have to select the minimum value from the updated distance matrix that is the 2.15 so already these two are clustered now we are going to identify the two, uh, minimum value 2.15 so now we are going to combine these two clusters so this is the cluster 2 this is cluster 1 so both are combined and now it formed cluster 1 so still it is single turn cluster now update the distance matrix after merging the uh, d1 comma d2 and d3 so now we have combined d1 2 3 as a single cluster so after combining this row 
combined combined uh, cluster row should be updated so now we are going to find out the distance between d1 2 3 comma 4 so for that we have to calculate d1 to d2 to 4 and d3 to d4 so d1 to d2 4 is 5.5 this value and d3 to d4 is here 6.32 the average value is 5.91 so 5.91 is written here and the uh, distance between cluster to itself is zero now we are having only one data left so we are going to combine this uh, uh, data point of uh, four with the already available cluster so for that we have to select 5.91 so after selecting the 5.91 so we are combining this data point 1 2 3 and 4 so now it is combined so finally all four data points are combined together to form a single cluster then then we are going to uh, uh, sketch the dendrogram for this uh, cluster so initially we have uh, combined these two data points with a minimum distance 1 so in the dendrogram it is mentioned with the distance 1 these two data points are combined together then we have combined this cluster and uh, data point 3 with distance 2.15 so you look at that approximately here it is mentioned uh, 2.15 so with this distance this data point 1 and 2 and data point 3 are clustered then finally uh, we have uh, clustered this all four data points into single cluster with the distance 5.91 so here the with 5.91 the data point 4 and these three data points are combined together right uh, form the cluster so this is the way to use the average linkage method here to uh, form the hierarchical clustering uh, by using agglomerative hierarchical clustering method. Thanks for watching.